Actually, I'm going to discuss what how to connect MariaDB with Navigate ID. So first, here I'm going to open the Navigate ID and uh, so you can see there is so uh, list of connections. I'm now going to create with the oh uh, MariaDB. Okay, so click on this connect. Then you can see MariaDB. Click there, then you should uh, give the correct information this place. So here giving the connection name Maria DB underscore con and local host that's fine. This here port 3306 that's or used in my SQL. So you should give the connect port this place. So giving here 3305 of the port of this MariaDB and username that is root and keep the password and if you give all the correct information then click on this test connection and ok and thereafter click on this ok then you can see MariaDB that's come there and inside this or uh, schemas their information MySQL performance and sys so here if I click on this list then you can see this of tables there. There is one tables information schema or there is the list of tables are present there. Okay and this is the simplest way we can connect here MariaDB with Navigate ID. Okay. So after that you can perform any kind of query operation this place create database, create query, you can do some modeling, create chart, thereafter use the function, create the function, delete the connection, many operations you can do on uh, MariaDB. So here MariaDB con is there, right click, then you can edit connection, delete connection, create the new database, or uh, this place you can perform insert there. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.